do you want to know the real reason why they want you to come so much yo my bad about that cliffhanger actually my phone got really hot and I had to go in the freezer I know right you said go in the freezer well I know right due to not using AC it gets pretty hot even the phone overheats so look this is the reason why they want you guys to uh, come and you know release your semen all the time so a couple things it does it it makes you emotionally unstable yes releasing your semen it causes your brain to go through like influxes in emotions because you're letting your vital like elixir source gone so frequently it is causing massive effects and i'm going to name a couple of them all right i'm gonna name just a few it causes your confidence to go down yeah i'm saying it descend it really makes your confidence like crap so if you having bad confidence you're judging yourself you're in your head you're you know not loving yourself it's because of this right here this one thing similar retention practicing it will change your life drastically all right the next thing is it's lowering your energy by you not by, by you busting nuts all the time it lowers your energy it, it, you're giving that vital source of divine consciousness away Sometimes you're not even giving away. You're just going right into a napkin. What, what's that called? Like, what do you call that? I call that like not containing the bag. And that's another thing it does. It lowers your bag. Yes, by you coming so much, it messes with your finances. That is your currency. Your semen is your current flow of currency. That is your potent magic elixir. Yes, that is some powerful shit. And by you letting that shit go... <sighs> Think of it like this. It's powerful enough to create a life. I don't care what you call it. A womb can't create a life on its own. It shit takes that powerful, potent elixir to create a life. You feel me? The next thing is it allows you to not have, like by releasing your nut, you do not have self-control. By retaining it, you it allows you to have self-control, self-preservation. So important. That I'm sure you're watching this video need help. Me too. Self self control, self control from uh, wasting money. Uh, self control from practicing bad habits. Self control from uh, giving my energy away to things I know that's not going to benefit me. We all can practice some form of self control. I don't care what you say you are. Also, strong hair. Yes, I'm saying it. Semen weakens your hair. I know. You see, that's why I practice. I said, fuck that shit. Oh, man. No. Yo, I, I'm a hair kind of guy. I can't do the bald Mr. Clean Fade. That's not me. So for me having so much fun, now I'm like, I'm like, I'm cool. I'm, you know, I'm like. <sighs> Deep voice. It actually releasing your semen causes your voice to elevate its tone. So now you have such a higher pitch versus a deep, you know, testosterone masculine voice. Yeah. So I'm saying my dad has a strong, I talked to him that nigga one time, two two times he asked for my social security number so he came on his girl's taxes. I was like, yeah, but I, but his voice was deep than the motherfucker. That's the only reason why I gave it to him. The only reason why I, I was like, man, the guy ain't never heard you in my life. What you do ask for my social security? No, nah, he was like, yo, what's up, sir? Yo, I was like, hey. I'm like, I was in the foster home too. Man, it was, you know what I'm saying? At least they fed, you know, I had, you know. So he was like, yo, so uh, <clears throat> how you doing? He's like, what's your social security number? He didn't say it so quick, but like five minutes in, he asked for it. I was like, well, I gave him the wrong one, of course, but I was just like, interesting, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what I'm saying? Also, it relieves depression. Retaining your seed relieves depression and it boosts your libido. By you busting your nuts all the time, it actually shrinks. I know. By you retaining it, it actually lengthens and grows. The reason why behind it, it's powerful. Your seed, by you retaining it, you grow from it. By you releasing it, you shrink from it. Think about it like this. Your semen can grow a life from a tiny tab tadpole swimming through, going to the... Going to the ovaries, finally see a shop, it was like set up for a while, you know, nine, 10 months, no, 10, 11 months, it ain't no nine months, 10, 11 months, it, it could set up for the next year, you feel me? It's like, I could, I could chill here. It's clean enough. It's, it's hyper allergenic, you feel me? You know, okay, because, you know, the tadpole, you know, he fancy, right? He don't want no dirty ass, bacteria ass, you know what I'm saying? Feasted yeast ass, you know what I'm saying? Dirty ass, don't wash my ass twice a day ass, one time every other day ass, you know, kind of thing to you know, chill at for a while. You know, I, I, I don't blame 
blame it. I don't blame it. You know, as long as you clean yourself, I can. It's a it's a mutual ground. It's a starting point, right? So, without that, you can't grow life. That is what that does. So, we, by you retaining that, you grow yourself. Yes, mentally, spiritually, and physically. All right. It also makes you a risk taker. Oh, you thinking about risk taker? Ooh, I'm telling you, this is why they want you to bust nuts because they don't want you to take risks. They want you to get a nine to five. They want you to become a basic simp ass motherfucker. And they want you to go find a girl with five kids, you know what I'm saying? Four or five kids and then take care of them kids. Buy them all lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner five, three times a day. They want you to just pick up the slack from, from other dudes. You know what I'm saying? This is why they don't want you. Well, this is why they want you to bust nuts. They want you to pick up the slack. You are the slack picker. They already, they don't want to pick up all the slack. You think the government want to pick up all the slack? No. They they expect simp ass, weak ass motherfuckers to pick, pick up the slack. That's why they turned a large portion of them gay. I said it. They turned them gay. You know how? Busting nuts, making them feminalized. Yes, this makes them a beta. And when they're a beta, they'll be more easily accessible to pick up the slack from other motherfuckers. I said it. I didn't want to say it, but I said it. You feel me? I love everybody, but I said it. And you know what? I'm kind of glad I said it. I'm relieved I said it. They want simp ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. You got like two kids, but four, five? Man, she better be a whole lot of fun. And I got to pay three times. Man, shit. They better eat one time a day. They better do that intimate fasting. You know what I'm saying? Also, retaining your seat improves your sleep. So if you have trouble sleep, just retain the nut and you shall see. You feel me? <laughs> also, it boosts your immunity. So this is why, you know, you're more re you're more accessible to cold sickness and that's the only way the medical industry, you know, dies from you being accessible. So by holding your seat, you literally are immune to everything. Yes, you're immune to everything. For real, it's only dudes who bust their nuts. They die early and they get sick, and they're you know they're susceptible to everything. But you don't bust, you don't. Your foreign, your soldiers can go through and clear out what it needs to, but you bust too many nuts, it won't be able to clear out what it needs to. Something has to go. So your body goes off of priority, which is more prioritized, more crucial for it to thrive and not really change its lifestyle. Me, I had put on a hat for the last two, three years. So I figured out how to, you know, handle shit. I was, I was like, I just got to keep my semen. And it's just, do, 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 start the, you know, like a chip pet. You feel me? But, hey, it was like, it, my body knew, throw a motherfucking hat on. You feel me, you, you know what I'm saying? Girls don't really fall for that these days. So they're like, hey, take the hat off. Now strip. Now do it 180. Now 360. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. But yo, so boost your energy. Have you ever had heard of the vitamin B12? Well, I know. Well, because everybody has it in their seam, semen. Your your semen your semen contains vitamin B12, which is a small amount, right? So it's a crucial vitamin for stamina. So it helps you transfer the food that you consume into energy that your cells can use. That's in your semen. Your semen contains a wow, like a large variety of vitamins that you need. Is in your semen. It keeps your blood, blood cells, you know, and your nerve cells strong. It keeps the type of anema, can make you, you know, it keeps you from tired and weakness. It may, uh, there's a reason why you feel extremely exhausted after jerking off. Uh, standing from ejaculation boosts your testosterone levels within a week and keeps a sufficient amount of vitamin 12 in your body. That is why people don't waste their semen fill so much around active all the time. So you know athletes don't do that. It's because such and such. However, I'm telling you, it will boost your testosterone by 45% in a week just by retaining your semen. Yes, high testosterone is linked to high energy. On the other side, low testosterone levels cause fatigue, loss of interest in sex, and erectile dysfunction. So, yeah, basically made you more of a girl because the only difference between you from a girl and a guy is testosterone, meaning, and their penis. I mean, they actually saw that in the surgery. So, the only difference between you and a girl is levels amounts of testosterone and you coming out the wound as a guy and a girl. But we all look past that at the moment. Your testosterone, right? What are they doing to trans people? They ingest high amounts of estrogen and they lower their testosterone. What is it? Multiple things lower your testosterone. Plastic bottles, busted nuts, <laughs> simping for girls that don't deserve it. Uh, uh, let's see, not working out. Like all this shit lowers your testosterone. But look, all right, so self-control urges of self Pleasure are the strongest. According to some, urges of masturbation and porn are even more powerful than you can even imagine. 
And when you stop yourself from ejaculating every day, you make yourself more powerful. Porn is more powerful than what you can't even imagine. Self-control is the most difficult thing to do. This will control you yourself and you can do anything. Anything. Oh, shit, man. Damn. I, gotta, I ain't even been on it. Like, come on. Like, I'm going to be honest for a change. Sometimes I overlook and I'm like, man, fuck this shit. That's why I stopped talking about it for a minute because I, I, didn't, I didn't slipped up. I know I slipped up. I'm like, shit. You know, but... You will start to memorize things you have forgotten easily because semen retention will help you get rid of the garbage present in your brain. Whoo, people who have started participating in semen retention have found out that their body memory power is increasing day by day. There is no scientific evidence that makes this claim true. However, many people are noticing that when you masturbate regularly that you find it hard to remember even the smallest of things. All right, this one I'm really focused on, all right? Hair. I know, right, man? Girls love dudes with hair. I'm talking, I ain't talking about hair on the chest. I'm talking about hair on the net, nah, not that, you know. All right, keratin is the most essential nutrient for your hair and nails. Who in our semen contains keratin in a small amount? People who have used keratin on their hair report that their hair is much more smooth and easier to manage as a result. Lack of keratin in your body may, may result in hair loss, roughness, dryness, and thin hair. Frequent masturbation and wasting semen may make your hair go thin and maybe also cause hair fall. It's better to preserve your semen and become bald, right? Yes, yes. Also, when you fab too much, our scalp becomes dry and feels itchiness in our head all the time. Some people have even noticed the growth of lice in the head when they continue to masturbate for a month daily. Just stop masturbation for a week and see it by yourself if you think it's a lie. I guarantee your hair will become better in terms of thickness and itchiness will go away. If you are struggling to quit porn and masturbation, y'all need to seek help. Go get some classes. You need professional. Oh, see, they agree too. The con <laughs> is not free. Man, man, the deep voice though by 45% in a week alone. You feel me? So, man, I don't know why I keep spitting up too much, but that's because uh, I'm talking and stuff is clearing out. I bet you clearing out a lot of stuff right now. I bet. Especially when you practice semen retention, your body's going to be flushing out mu acidity, mucus. Mucus, which is disease. People get cancer because their body's not ridden mucus from the body, which lowers your alkalinity, your pH level. It makes you more acidic. You know what I'm saying? So if you're flushing out, that means your body's decreasing its acidity and increasing the alkalinity in your body, which means you're becoming way more healthier. Your body's government based on H3O2 versus H2O, which is bad for you. I think H2O is a form of mucus because that's why they want you to have it. And H3O2 is a form of hydrogen, which actually increases your molecule cells which makes you much more stronger that is what your body feeds on air wise that's what it's really supposed to have but not the other one you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm telling y'all right now so it also makes your voice deeper men you know women love a guy with a deep voice you know what i'm saying they don't want you coming there sounding like Wee herman you know what i'm saying so i recommend practicing retention i know it may be hard sometimes it's hard but just keep reading yourself and keep reminding yourself the benefits that's what i would you know honestly i'm gonna tell you what i would do because it's giving myself away. But just keep reading yourself the benefits. That's exactly what I would do. Man, look at me. I just told y'all what I would do without telling y'all what I would do. After I told y'all, y'all get what I'm saying. And then a lot of great things will happen to you. I promise you. I won't promise you, but I promise you in the terms of the uh, God, the Lord. Relieves depression. It is one of the most common mental diseases in today's society. After a masturbation, behavior changes quickly. We start to feel guilty like we have done a crime. Some people get stuck in a loop where they masturbate and feel sad. And again and again in the time, just because they are feeling sad, they masturbate. This loop could be lethal for your brain. It could also affect your emotion deeply and may push you into a deep darkness of depression. In these kinds of scenarios, a person requires help immediately. As I said earlier, semen retention increases testosterone levels, optimum levels of testosterone associated with mental well-being. A study done by Harvard suggests that patients who were not lacking in this controversial antidepressants had lower levels of testosterone in their bodies, which means so people who were depressed or mentally unstable, they have really small amounts of testosterone. So testosterone levels of testosterone is linked to way more like freaking mental disorders than we even imagine. It's, I bet you those serial killers, they had low levels of testosterone. They were too emotional, fem feminized, which made them go and attack random people. <coughs> <coughs> and when these patients were given a dose of testosterone along with Tide presence, they reacted in a very well manner. Whoo! Semen retention boosts libido. Libido is the person's overall sexual drive for divide for desire of sexual activity. Most of the people who practice no fab notice that their sexual desire is increasing, but this time a real sexual desire, not a fake one. Damn, however time a person who practices no fab 
can also control those desires and it can be used on a different task like exercise sports studies and those activities require high amounts of energy and concentration. A study was conducted with help of men ages between 40 and 70. The group was given high doses of testosterone and observed that a notable in the increase in the libido. So maybe it's all a game of high testosterone. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, it's all about the minerals you contain and high testosterone. Semen retention makes you a risk taker. You feel me? It makes you everything, yo. I'm telling y'all. So semen retention is the way to go. All these benefits is the benefits that the rich take. You know, us rich. You feel me? That's all the things that we do. Reason why we practice semen retention, because that's what brings the richness. So can I get an amen? Amen. You feel me? So that is why we want them to release their semen. <laughs> yeah. As long as I'm in on the joke, man, we good to go, man. At least invite me to the club. At least invite me to the party. I'm just, I'm just with you. But you feel me? So I'm saying is that semen, like busting nuts all the time, makes you weak, poor, beta, simping, feminized. It makes you completely, and it kills you, weakens you, makes you depressed, makes you vulnerable, makes you frail. It, definitely decreases your desire it decreases everything about you real talk busting i know the most pleasurable thing to do actually kills you doesn't that suck which is why you gotta learn how to do it and not bust nuts all right they gotta pay for it 10k 10k you know how long it takes me to replenish all the minerals girl you gotta put yeah she gotta come out her pocket she think that men is free nah we ain't free she talking about Free, man, get up out of here with all that. Free my ass. Man, they got shit reversed. First of all, they ain't even gotta do nothing. What you talking about? Pay for it. I'm like, I just heard that the other day they charged $200. I, see, I never got a prostitute before because I've never been inclined to pay. I always just either got it or I didn't. If it came, it came. If it don't, it don't. You know, I don't really go out and lose. You know what I'm saying? That's not my thing. Honestly, there's some sexy girls and I didn't know they charged $200. i am like, well, nah, I think about it. But I'd rather retain. That's worth it more than me than spending $200, right? You feel me? And if I'm paying $200, I want to enjoy all aspects of it. I want to enjoy the whole party, not just half of the party. You feel me? <laughs> So I never was, you know, the one to pay, right? But now I'm starting to learn $200. They ain't even got to do nothing. Men, the one that give up their life for energy and then got to sleep and replenish even a fraction of that back. And you don't get it all back right, right away. You got to wait seven days. So you mean I got to wait seven days to get back my semen that I just, and, well, and all my minerals, everything I just deplenish in this vagina that just absorbs everything. It's just absorbing everything like a sponge. Do, 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 do. Like, come on. And she got all my minerals, everything, my carotene. No wonder why they got good hair. She's like, I got good hair. Yeah, you got good hair. All, all the carotene you got up in there. She talking about good hair. Yeah, you got good hair. My hair is here. Well, yeah, your hair is there. You've been absorbing all that carotene for some years now. You got to feed all my four children. Man, get up out of here. Yeah, you, you talking about now. I'll be more reluctant to because I feel good and I don't want children to go without, but it has nothing to do with me feeling or being entitled to feed the rest of the children. I'm not entitled to shit. I will do it because I want to do it. Not because she punking me or making me feel entitled by raising her voice. What? 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 I was like, what? Ooh. I was like, nah, dude was so nice too. He was real nice. He was, look, <sighs> what? He was very patient with her. He knows. He's like, yo, man, it was fun, but nah, shit, you got to put that work in. I see, he putting in the work. He was, man, you can't even feed his children without drama. It almost feels like when I go to the store, I can't even buy something without drama. What a question be. What are you buying all that water for? It's only six gallons, so I don't come here every day. No, what are you doing? You're making an atomic bomb? Man, just the other night, I get six bottles of water, and that's all they had. So I was like, man, cool. I would have got more, you know, because I drink a lot of water, and I don't want to keep getting water all the damn time, especially they're not always in. They, uh, they don't always have the water that I have in stock, so I try to get as many as I can get at that moment because... Like I would rather, as long as I have something, 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 something to drink, I don't mind going without food. I just have to have something to drink. I don't care about the food part, to be honest with you. I don't really even give a shit. Like food to me is like, huh? Like it really doesn't make any difference to me. I know the body only needs minerals. That's it. It doesn't even, and there's no minerals in any of that food. None. 
So you're basically just eating parasites. You're not eating any minerals. There's shit in there. So basically, the food is only killing you. And you're only feeding parasites. That is the only reason why you get hungry. Is because you're only feeding parasites. Yes, I know. That hungriness is not you feeling hungry. The growls is not your body saying, oh, I need to eat. No, it's only your body's that's speaking to you in a different language, A, and then those are the parasites uh, trying to get you to consume something so it can feed, so it can live. It, it needs something to live. It needs this car, what, 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 what should I call it? This synthetic based chemicalized GMO clone. It needs it in order to thrive. That's why they switched everything to this synthetic GMO clone yeah i'll just call it that i'll shorten it synthetic gmo clone smgmoc smgmoc yeah synthetic gmo clone yeah smgmoc yeah that's gonna be his name all right because it needs that to live that's why when you go on a fast all those parasites die hence why they want you to keep consuming those synthetic well smgmoc because they want you they want that to control you so that's pretty much all it is, y'all. So I don't even really care. But something to drink? Yeah. I need, I love something to drink. Man. And I felt like she was getting in the way. What are you doing? I'm like, can I just pay you? She wasn't even trying to take the money. She was just like, and there was a guy behind me looking too. He wasn't saying shit. And there was another person walking in. I'm like, you act like I'm making a drug deal. A drug, I'm like, this is just water. She was like, what are you gonna do with all that water? I was like, what do you mean what am I gonna do with all that water? What do you think I'm gonna do with all the water? I'm gonna drink it. Damn. What? They got her, and they had her working at the cashier. I was surprised. I was like, you actually put her on the cashier? Fuck, her dad must be the owner. Her dad must be the owner. I was, I was appalled. For real. I was more than appalled. You feel me? <laughs> I was beyond the part. All right, I'm going to tell you all the chakras, okay? The root chakra is the first one, all right? This is the seed syllable. It's syllable, like the frequency that you want to uh, access this chakra is lam, lam, lam. You want to just like meditate, sit down and say lam. The emotions is instinct, uh, instinct, security, survival, grounding, and its color is red, okay? So that this is, a you know, information on the root chakra for those... The lam will activate it. It's governed by earth element. So you obviously will go into the earth. You'll meditate. And then you will. This will fix those emotions. So if it's, if you have anything with instinct, uh, security, survival, grounding, you want to uh, focus on your root chakra. Okay. Now, the second one is sacral chakra. I feel. The, well, the first one, by the way, was I am. This one is I feel. This is um <clears throat> the syllable for this is vam, vam, vam. It's element, it's water, so you will go to the water to activate this one, okay? It's emotion that's linked to this one is fluidity, pleasure, sense of self, and its color is orange, okay? So if you want to activate your sacral chakra, if you have any of those emotion, then that means you have to open up the sacral chakra, so okay? The solar plexus chakra is I do. And the syllable for this one is ram, ram, ram. And its element is fire. So obviously you would light a candle. If you have any emotions linked to like will, purpose, or strength, you know what I'm saying? Then it means you got to open up your sol solar plexus one. Its color is yellow. So obviously you have yellow. You would be near fire and you would just focus on I do. And then you would say ram. And you would think I do, I do, I do. Okay, with everyone. So the other one was I feel, I feel while you're saying Vam. The other one, the root was I am, I am while you're saying Lam. Okay, so you wanna repeat this. This will open these chakras for you, okay? You get me? I'm not moving too fast, am I? My brain is like, and then you have a color yellow around you. You would either have color on or the color yellow on, or you would have it around you, okay? <clears throat> the next one is the heart, okay? So you would. Is linked to green, okay? If you have any of these emotions, that means your um your heart chakra is closed. So if you have love, compassion, balance, or accepting problems, then this is this needs to be open. So you would be focusing on air element, and then to activate it, you will say I love, I love, I love, and then you will say yum, 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 and then you would just be out in nature. Okay, all this is basically the only one without nature. I would say is inside because you want fire. Unless you can put fire in the torture, so I don't really know how that works. But all right, <clears throat> let's see. 
Now this one is the throat chakra. It's I speak, okay? And the syllable for this one is, hey, let's see the syllable, let's see the syllable. Ham, ham, ham. And then if you have anything, any problems with communication, creativity, uh, resonance, then you need to open up your throat chakra. And the color for this that's associated with is blue. So have something on that's blue and then, you know, do hum, the element is ether. So I'm guessing it's like the divine consciousness, a different type of, you know, the sixth cent. All right. And then the communication, creativity, response, and then blue. Okay. The third eye is I see. All right. It's the, right here. Okay. This is the first eye. It's element is light and the emotional that's associated with this is perception, intuition, imagination. And the color is indigo. And the syllable that's linked to this one is OM, A-U-M, OM. <clears throat> and then this one is I know. Element is thought, syllable, I. Emotions linked to this one is wisdom, knowledge, spiritual, connection. Its color is violet purple. So these are the seven chakras. Like I said, I'm going to put all this in the description box. All right, it's gonna let you know how to activate. This is the basic information. If you guys want another video on this, me going more in depth about each chakra individually, then y'all just comment down below. Also, social media, my cash at my PayPal, you know what I'm saying? Let me know and I will do that specific video. But this is how, this is the information that you need to know about your chakras and how to turn them on. What well, Which will activate your mitochondria, which is governed from your crown to your root, which is why you wanna practice all the stuff I'm telling you, semen retention, grounding, Connecting with nature. I'm like, I'm saying all this. I'm telling y'all so many gems though. Hey, yo, y'all welcome. You feel me? Yo, y'all be solid out there. Okay. I'm KT. I'm out.